Jackson's presidency, I think, was the fulfillment of the promise in the, uh, in the Constitution about a government by the people. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the United States between 1829 and 1837. He's known for representing the rights of the common man and for being at the forefront of our modern Democratic Party. He was the first uh, self-made man to be elected president. He was actually the first president who wasn't born and raised in either Massachusetts or Virginia. Jackson was born in 1767 and worked as a lawyer. When Tennessee was admitted to the Union, he became its first representative to the U.S. Congress. In 1814, Jackson was appointed Major General of the American Forces, and his successful defeat of the British in the Battle of New Orleans made him a national hero. One of the items that's very significant about the Battle of New Orleans was the fact that Jackson faced the best British regulars. These were the same soldiers who had defeated Napoleon. Prior to this battle, uh, Americans had never won a major victory over a European power without the help of another European power. By 1828, Jackson won the presidency of the United States, and his inauguration was a celebration for the people. They came from miles and miles away. Uh, they camped out for days uh, just to see Jackson. His presidency hit a low when he destroyed the National Bank, resulting in a nationwide depression. He was also responsible for relocating most Indian tribes to the West. And his practical solution was uh, two things. Either Indians could individually choose to, to accept a piece of land and, and adopt white ways and become farmers, or if they wished to maintain their culture, they could be moved further west. The South Carolina legislature disrupted Jackson's presidency by threatening to secede due to high tariffs placed on imports. Jackson retaliated by threatening to send 50,000 troops into their state to enforce the Constitution, and South Carolina backed down. In the end, Jackson saved the Union.